shall we begin? Hello and welcome to another video. Love is in the Air 2017 event is currently going on and if you're like me, you want to get a lot of those charms for the new and old vendor items. Just the two new toys alone require 3,700 charms. I've been out testing locations and let me tell you, don't waste your time on the Vampirates or the Murlocs on Gloaming Reef. Even with the group loot mechanics, you're currently not getting a lot of charm drops. No, you want to go back to Draenor, good old Warlords of Draenor, and head into the Everbloom. I'm taking my 110 Brewmaster Monk because he has excellent damage mitigation, not that these little mobs hurt very hard on a 110, and for the Ox Statue to gather all the mobs in one area. You'll want to pull all the mobs from the first two bosses in two separate groups. Run all over and stomp on their little heads to get them to chase you, then drop the Ox Statue and start spamming your rushing Jade Wind and Keg Bombs on them. Repeat on the other side group. I was averaging at least 45 charms per run. All in all, you can clear these groups out and reset your instance in just over 3 minutes, so you will likely hit your reset cap. To work around this, you can bring a second 110 with AoE style attacks, such as a Druid or Death Knight, cycle between the two characters, and you should be able to gather at least 900 charms per hour. Oh, and one very super important item of note, do not forget to pick up a lovely charm collector's kit or you will not receive any tokens. Let me know how you did using this farm and if you liked the video be sure to click that like button and share with your friends. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.